What's your problem over there? Nothing. I want to work on my bike. <laughs> he wants to see progress. He don't Tito, like. Tito, come on, let's turn some <laughs> wrenches. You don't like looking at painted parts. I do like looking at painted parts. There's a parts. wrench. I could turn it. How's but this? I'm going to enjoy it a lot better. Yeah, I, see, I dropped it. When I can actually sit on there, it. There, you go like that. I turned it. You were sitting on your bench right there. Petro, I love you, man, but we got to turn some wrenches. Okay, well, we got one problem. Is his seat's bent, and he don't want to fix it. Well, not right now. It's some... Was that a corporal you said? <laughs> sat on this thing? No. <laughs> Big somebody, fat corporal. Somebody told me this that's... This seat's not supposed to go like 90 degrees like this. It's supposed to be more flat. So the seat's bent under here. Ah, right where that big mark is under there. And that's why these are at a weird angle. Because we straighten a T-bar. And he wants us to tighten this thing down. He thinks that'll be great. But anyway, the seat's bent. And he don't want to straighten the seat because it's yeah, but original. Yeah, but Tell him that it's a new, it's an original seat. It's, it's a little hard. It's, like, it's almost like wood. It, of course it's hard. And you can see it's all buckled up right in here because it's bent in the middle. So, anyway, he don't want me to do anything, so. Well, if that's the case, I'll sell it and get another I don't, seat. I don't know why the seat's sitting on there right now. Well, because cause we're, we're enjoying it. He wanted to, he wanted to get some progress done on the bike today. <laughs> okay, I got my new Tribodon grease out here, so. We're going to take this, we're going to. We're going to make Alan eat it. That's some good-looking stuff. It's almost like clay. Yeah, I get here. All right, cool. I think you're doing something. All right. Petro's not feeling very good today, but no, Alan, we're going to try to persevere. Alan hurt me. No. Okay, so we, had a, we had a black spring and a cat spring for your kickstand. Yeah, you Hold on. Them. Let me get this on here. Alan doesn't like black. He likes Well, cat. I like a little accent, you know. Okay. On my Cadillac Escalade outside, I like a little contrast. Yeah, sure. I, this is kind of, I want my bike to be a bling mobile. Oh, I'll give you some bling. <laughs> All right. Where's your front end out? Right there. Right where? Right over here on the side. Where's the camera on my way? All right, I'm going to let it right, sit right there. All right, well, we're having a little bit of a discrepancy here. Yeah, you. Oop. I hear water. Oh, is that what that was? Dripping. Is my roof leaking? See, nobody knows it's raining right now outside. Well, it never rains in California. Winter has officially hit San Diego. Yes, it's no sir. raining. First time in, what, 11 months? Probably, yeah. Yeah. What's it doing back here? Not that my roof leaks. You know that seat is just in such nice shape and I know as soon as we go start twisting it that leather's going to crack and then it's going to be junk. I'm I'm thinking I'm going to live with it like that at least till I can get a chance to sit on it. How bad's it leaking, Tatro? Well, that's good. We have a special leak trough over here. Well, I just I heard it dropping in the trough. No, actually, it was missing the trough. Oh. It's not now. It's leaking in the five gallon bucket. All right. Just like it's supposed to. Well, one thing for sure. It's a special uh, roof over there. We're in a high rent district around here, so you get what you get. Why isn't it done now? What happened? We're, we're waiting for you to quit oh. fooling around with a bucket. Okay, I need a wrench. You got a wrench for this? I do not. What, what did, did we figure that out? Seven eighths? No, I don't know. Thirteen sixteenths. One inch. Fifteen sixteenths. Everything's standardized on Harley Davidson. There you go. Blending fine art and Harley Davidson since when? When did you go into business? It's 1820, wasn't it? No, when did you go into business? Me? I don't know. You were in business before God was riding a Harley. <laughs> At least before <laughs> Willie G was riding a Harley. Hey, what was that thing that guy was talking about out here? He said the 115th anniversary is coming up. Do you know anything about that? 
They're inviting everybody that said. And do I care? Nope. Well, be fun. Nope. You could Not go me. back there and meet some people. I could do a bird out in the military bike. That would be pretty sweet. They'd probably get pissed off, though. And I bet you not. Those pussies over there at Harley dealer, they wouldn't even know what a military bike is. Much as how to do a burnout on one. Okay. Oh, you're not watching anything over there. All right. So you got to tell me where we're going next, what we're doing. Going well, home. Okay, we can do that too. I'm going to take this out. Take that one out. What the hell fell out there? It sounded light. Oh, well. I'm missing blocks. Must have been hidden. I think I like this better over here. I'm going downtown. Oh, yeah. I get my exercise. Well. That's your weak arm. I'm going down. I know that. Bellows are going up. I know that. There, we bought them down, sir. Okay. I have no idea what you're doing here. I think we're going to be a little short. Where's the hole at, sir? Ah. Figure out what we're doing yet? Not yet, no. We're working. Okay, I like it. Where's your nut? You gave me the socket, that's all I got. Where's your other nut? Uh, not for what? I don't know what you're talking about. Spring nut. Right here. Okay. Spring nut, all right. I didn't know this was, uh, I see what you're doing. What size is this? Probably a one incher. Nah, I think it's a lot bigger. Hey, uh, for all you vis viewing audience, if you'll notice, Tatro's wearing uh, the new edition T-shirt, Tatro T-shirt. They're available in the pro shop. The only thing is, pro shop's empty. <laughs> they were sold out before they could even hit the shelf. So, but take heart, we've got another another order in. Uh, you're order. you're stuck with black. What did you call that? Wannabe black. No, that was the first shirt. These are second shirts. All right. What's what? What's the blue? Uh, blue is turquoise. Oh, all right. Uh, I'm actually wearing red. That's the second. Group like shirt. the red. We got to work on the third group. We have to figure out what people want to buy, though. We don't know. Okay. Either. Evidently, people like orange. I don't know why. But... Well, yeah. So when we are riding. I don't know. I don't also, know. for our lady riders out there, we've got halter tops. Yeah, right. And um, what else coming? Uh, I'm not coming anything until I find something to make them. All right. Where's well. my uh, grease? It's still my grease. Man, could be running in circles around here. Okay, what's this? That's that righteous tri tribodyne grease you're going to charge me $10 a dab for. At least. Maybe but it's worth it. That's some killer shit. What did you say it was? It's frightfully expensive. Um, 60 bucks a uh, tube. S 60 bucks a tube. And that's a regular canister for a grease gun. And that's a cheap tube. Yeah, that's the cheap tube. Comes in three three grades, huh? Yep. See, I put it in the expensive container. Yeah. This is a three hundred sixty dollar container. Yeah. That might have went up though. It might be three eighty. Three hundred and eighty dollars for a bucket of grease. Hey, it's NASCAR quality. For the God, day. what has the world come to? If you got a NASCAR and you want to go fast? That's what you use. Well, I guess if you want to win. The last time Danica Patrick and I had lunch together, she told me... Uh, she was cheap? No, she said that no expense spared. If you want to race, it costs money. Yeah, so, cool. Alan, either open your wallet and buy me a filet mignon or get the fuck out of here. Hey, hey. Oh, excuse me. Let me get 
the hate police after me again. No. Did they get after you? They just tagged the last three videos we did. That said what? Uh, they don't, I don't know. They just tag them for oh. bad. Oh, all right. Well, I apologize to anybody I might have offended. Those were the ones that we just did. We that, posted last week, last weekend. No, we didn't say, we weren't doing anything, were we? I don't know. It's... I don't, they don't tell you why they tag them. Oh, they oh tag really? Them. All right. Well, I'm sorry. They just tag them. Okay, so we got our ball socket. Now, those are actually greased by Zerk, aren't they also? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, but that's just to get her started. Yeah. No, this is a one time application. Okay. Yeah, gooping them up right now. Put grease in here, you're gonna contaminate them. I'm putting the good stuff in here right oh, now. I know it, I can see that. I this stuff even stick to my finger, it doesn't even want to stick to my finger. It's got a weird feel to it. It's definitely different than right Wait, It's almost like it's got a graphite or something in it, huh? It has a texture to it. Yeah, that's strange stuff. Puts a protective layer on the metal metal. Okay. In the boundary or in the actual metal itself. So it doesn't you don't need to keep lubricating it, just just put a layer on it and call it done. Call it done. I like it. Look at that. Oh wow, nice. Where'd the other one go? Did you have two of those? Yes, I well, did. That was the other day we had to find the second one. Yeah, but we found it. Found it. Trevor Allen hit it. Well, I've been in boxes here for a couple of years, so. Yeah, that, uh, yeah. Laying it in here, too. We're going to. Alan's got lots of money, so. Yeah, right. We're loading them up. I'm just an enthusiast like you are. There, that's 20 bucks for it right there, probably. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Look at that. Yeah, that's nice stuff. Remember, the fork was all bent before. It's all worn out. Yeah, it was. Yes, it was. Okay, where's the uh, other other side of the fork? Right here. Another camera range. Yeah. Can't see it. All right, well, we can see it now. Also, all this paint, too, Keenan's real particular. So uh, we heated all the bare metal, heated the paint cans, painted it, and then put it back in the oven. And then here's day two, and it's all actually pretty nice. This is that Rapco military paint. If you're painting military, the colors are really, really, really nice. So that Mark Dowd down in Bowie, Texas. Bowie, he, Texas. He puts out a nice product. Comes real? in spray cans. You can buy it in a real? case or you can buy it by the gallon and it thins with um, uh, lacquer thinner. So real easy to paint. And real nice, fast drying. So, so if they have a tank, they want to do. They're all set. Well, we painted a self-propelled howitzer at Pendleton yesterday. Took five gallons. I to told paint. you I wanted a forty-five howitzer. What happened to that? Oh well, this is uh, this is a big. You're big, gonna get me one, you said. Big, big piece of artillery. Believe me. I need one for out front for a Cinco de Mayo day. Oh, Cinco de Mayo! <laughs> Listen to you. For a guy that lives in the barrio, he's talking about Cinco de Mayo. Isn't that what the name of it is? They have it once a year, all the time. I think they have it twice a year in places. Okay, is that lubricated up? So those rods weren't really worn, though. I mean, they were bent, but there wasn't were a bent. lot. There oh, wasn't okay. a lot of wear on the them, though. The fork is actually bent. Yeah. Really okay, bent. but I mean, as far as wear, I could see once, once the thing was uh, bent, it would really wear. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Who's sneaking out? Halt! Who goes there? It's another friendly uh, man <laughs> in the man in the neighborhood. It's a yeah. good good fella. I forget your name. Lorenzo. Lorenzo, how are you, my friend? Good, good. Good. We were trying to figure out what Cinco de Mayo was. When was that? Oh, you trying to figure out what's a Cinco de Mayo? Yeah, when was that? Well, Gringo Boy here doesn't. He was going to give me a Howard sir, to use. For Cinco de Mayo. Listen to that shit. 
You know, the, the Mexicans, they don't celebrate the Cinco de Mayo. Is that right? Yeah. Just, well, all well, Americans, well, just Americans do. Uh-huh. Well, because it's the beer sales. It's all alcohol. <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah. It's stupid beer sales, man. Exactly. That's what Sure. It is. Yeah. I always figured there was something going on. It's <laughs> incredible. <laughs> Bigger holiday is that that Dia del de la Muerto, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's a bigger holiday than. No, yeah, don't even know what that one is. Well, the Day of the Dead. That's and the, uh, the other one is uh, Independence Day. To show honor to yeah. relatives deceased. I thought that's what Cinco de Mayo was. Because Cinco de Mayo. In that cult, in that culture, family actually means something. Very nice. So we're trying to get Alan to put oil in his truck, but he won't do it. Well, I'm going to. I keep hearing that. You're I like got, Fred. well, I got... Uh, you like Fred, it takes a year to do it. I want it, well, I'm going to get the owner's manual first. That was supposed to be in a day, it didn't show. I know, but it will. It said it's in transit. Yeah. Alan needs to get that extra three, four miles per gallon because he drives so far. What are you working on today? I went to room with some bars in the hotel, and that's it. You're doing metal, metal work? Yeah. And making a couple of back on the rail for a farming complex. Is your business holding up good? Staying yeah, okay? It's good. Staying okay. Because you do a nice job over there. I mean, pay bills and, you know. Good. It's good. Permanently stained black now. So, so now you're using the real, real. Yeah, we got the good stuff. Okay. Did he tell you how much that is a tube? Alan has lots of money, so. Three hundred eighty-four dollars for a tube. No, that was for the container. <laughs> we mean the small container or, uh, or the whole? That size. Right that here. size. But Alan's got lots of money. Somebody's. So okay. Somebody's not. Somebody's fooling somebody. Okay, what side do you want out, Alan? Um, you want the letters in or out? I like the letters out. Letters are out? Part number in case I need to order. Now, Alan said there's no difference in two colors here. But so not. there again, okay. All right, well, it is what it is, yeah. Yeah. You listened to me again. I did. You did, should have. You didn't listen to me. Okay, what's these are the same khaki? You yes. guys have the red on the inside because it's, well, like, it's like the factory overspray. Oh, well, I thought I got him pretty good. You did a good job. Okay. Considering who was doing the job, you did a good yeah, job. Yeah, okay, great. Thanks. <laughs> Let me get back over here to where we are. Now, you notice I lubricated those bushes. This is how they did it in Milwaukee, folks. Let's see, actually, I probably should. Before I got this far, I should probably. Is there a left and a right? I don't believe so. Damn, that stuff's very stuck on there. Boy, look at that. There. Ooh, jeez. Why'd you put so much on there? I'll give you that. That's nice lubricant. You can definitely tell when it's on there or not. Okay, well, they're lubed now. Yeah. I got dirty again. Just the left or right? Uh, not sure. Top or bottom? It looked like they were equal. Is this going to fit now because it's not bent or? Ooh, that must be pretty straight. Well, we spent about three days on straightening that. Oh, I forgot something. Damn it. What, your overriders? Yep. Why don't you uh, hand me them? I can't bend back that way. Yep. It's hard to get good help. <laughs> How many you got? Two or four? Two. two. Where's the other two? We did not have any other two. You only the got the bottoms? Yeah. Okay. I thought you had all of them. Ooh. You see how that one just fell on there? 
You see how this one doesn't go on? That one just fell on there? Well, there's a little bit of a tweak in them. So how are you going to tweak them? Have to bend it. And you bend them because you don't want them to rattle, right? Correct. Of course, Hardys don't vibrate, so oh, hell no. No, never no vibration. Yeah, they would never vibrate. Now, I'm going to be interested to know how you bend spring steel. <laughs> now, that's a trick if you could do that with your hands, huh? Lorenzo knows. That'll take your eye out if it lets go. Oh, look at that. I'll be damned. Went just like you said. Checking on me again. No, I'm not. We're learning. Okay, it's just third time now. Okay, well. You said you've never put one of these together before. Not a green one like this. You've got new old stock ones rat holed away at home, but yeah, I do have that. How many do you think you've got? Uh, I got two sets of OD. Complete original. One set of black tones for a trike. One set of knucklehead ones. New old stock. Yeah. Yeah, that's neat stuff. Not in the box anymore, is it? And I got the one, the new set on my 45, it's already on the box. I was going to say, boy, that box would be rotted away in 75 years. Not Harley boxes. Okay, now. Easy to put the rocker arms on here, but we're going to try it without the rocker arms. If it comes up and starts chasing after you, it's a bad sign. Yeah, I can see that. See, I'm right on the, right on the bar. Yeah, here. yeah. Steel to steel makes it slippery. So I'm going to slide it over a little bit. No, it's in between two blocks. Oh, I got you. Okay. So we don't want to make sure we're in two blocks. Now you can put a big C clamp from here to here if you want. This does less damage to the paint. Yes, it sure does. Wow, look at that. You know, anybody that's ever been around this stuff. That Springer is really a nice setup, isn't it? Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> now I've got to go down far enough to do this. Where's the other one of these? Right there, if I'm not mistaken. There, underneath. I know it's somewhere underneath. Right there next see. to the cam, the front brake cam. Yeah, it's out of my view. Right there. See it? There it is. It's under the frame where I can't see. How popular were those new springers that they come out on the new bikes? Now you're supposed to have a set of inner springs here from the top out. We don't have those right now. Okay. So we're going to have to look, keep an eye out for a set. I've seen a couple sets on eBay, I didn't buy any for you yet. I got all the safety devices inside. Yeah, I was going to say, you start putting spring under uh, tension. Yeah, we take care of We have to use all safety protocols around here. You guys working late over there? You're just closing up, huh? No, we stay, stay there talking, you know. We close uh, five. Who's that? Your lady that works over there. She's a nice lady. My daughter. Your daughter. Very nice lady. Yeah. Now, is that spring tension adjustable the longer you run them down? You have a certain adjustment there, but not much. Okay. It's pretty much you got what you got. You got what you got. Okay. Well, that's what I was asking. The nut bottoms down to where the threads quit? This nut doesn't want to go. Oh boy. So now we got a little tension on it. Where's my socket at? 
problem is this one here, the the threads don't like that nut or doesn't like the paint or whatever problem. Well, that paint's pretty pretty thick, but Yeah, so it's uh it's being a pain right now. <coughs> Do you want me to help hold me this? And where's the top nut out? Now normally you're supposed to have a dome nut on these things. Those look original though, those nuts. They are. They're the rockets, they're ones for the bottom. Though they're the same, huh? No, they're actually taller on the other ones, but... I'm going to take some paint off some stuff here. Right Not worried about it. A little bit too deep. You're not going to run all the uh, <clears throat> Thompson stuff on the front of this one. No. Body, so mm -mm. We're going to go ahead and just make them where they look nice here, just a little bit above the Yeah, I like it. Actually, you can always run these down another half inch or so if you need a little extra pressure. But with all that ammo box and other stuff on the front end, you don't you can tolerate a little less spring tension. See, it's that something on that one stud. See, it's tight. Doesn't want to let me put the thing all the way down. Grab me a ratchet. Sizes are at 13 sixteenths. Yeah, that thread's definitely tight. I thought we checked all these threads, but that one's uh, that's pretty damn tight. Give me a big 12 inch crescent wherever it ran off to. Picky. Yes, well, not quite like you are, but uh, if you're going to have it, you can have it right. Oh, you this one's a little, this is half, this is not off. They're not the same. You could have it right or you could have it the Tetra way. I think you're one flat off there, Ellen. You'll make it. One flat. How's that look? Like it. Two flats. I think we're two flats off. What do you think it runs off? Two flats or one flat? Right now I cannot tell you because my glasses. No glasses. <laughs> glasses? Nuh-uh. -uh. You getting old? It broke. Oh, jeez. I saw this. you had them taped up yesterday. They finally let go, huh? Yeah. All right. So you got to have them even in the front. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Oh, they look, and they look good. Yes, yeah, sir. Got to have the peaks on the dome just right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Pretty nice. I'm worried about getting a job done today. No. Where's your races at? I just shined them up again. What are you looking at there on a video? We discussed this yesterday.
a rag around or something. There it is. Should I get my exercise? Yeah, it's pretty heavy. I got it. Are you good? Yeah, I'm not that weak. I'm not like Alan. <laughs> I'm not weak. I'm just used up. Remember how hard that came off before? Yeah. Oh, I know. I just learned something here. You're going to hold that race up and then put the bearings in. No, I'm not. You're not? I'm not putting any bearings in it. find the races tomorrow. All right. Tonight. Well, thanks for at least putting it together. That's pretty cool. Alan's all into, I want to see it together. Yeah. He doesn't care about anything else. There, see, it goes like that. As long as you don't turn it. Okay. Which we know you're going to want to do. No, I'm not touching it. It'll stay there just fine. I'm not getting near it. It'll fall over. So we're, we're mocked up right now. Yeah, this box is in the way of it. It's a junk box anyways. See, Alan's happy now. He can see his parts. He's an instant uh, love. No, I'm not. Yeah, instant gratification. Yeah, no, one. that isn't the case. That's it. No. Good things take time, Tatro. I learned that from you. Yeah. The only thing is, years is a long time. <laughs> Hell, Lorenzo and I both had black hair when I first come down here. Now look at us. That was yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, listen to him. Yeah, right. <laughs> you want to do the fender on the front or the back? Do what? You want the fender on the front or the back? The fender. Yeah. What do you mean? The mount. I didn't. Well, I don't know where it goes. It goes on the front. And I know it goes on the back because it's rigid on the on the rear leg, right? Oh, okay. Can we go the other direction? See, I was paying attention. We're just double checking there. Just sure. <laughs> well. Where those locks run out to? I have. Okay, colony parts. Very nice. Good quality parts. You didn't want to put them bearings in there, did you? No. Well, I would, but they don't meet up to your specifications, so I'm going to go with uh, your suggestion. Now, which one is front and which one's back? That I don't know either. I don't remember. You know. No, I don't. Anybody that's got a dozen rigid brandy front ends and they under their bed at home. What are you all talking about? Well <laughs> <laughs> they're not. They're up in your in your loft. They were mine, they'd be under my now you got the two tit and the three tit. Which one do you want in the front? I'm not sure. Me either. I don't know why they have different ones because it takes it's the same size fork either way. Right. Okay. I'm gonna well, go like that. Because just I'm, so they're I'm even. I'm thinking it's more heavy duty in the back, so okay. I need two extra locks on it to confuse everybody. That would be my guess. You're gonna put a little grease on those threads because we galled them up once. Remember that. Yeah, I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna do that. All right. And another thing, I'm glad we didn't paint those like you wanted to paint them. Probably green. Yeah. yeah. That would have been me. So, we'll be ready for tonight? Two years. Tonight, yep. He'll be on the road tonight. Yep. You know what? This is really a nice size little bike, isn't it? Perfect size. Well, it's good for me. It's a little big for you. It's a little big <laughs> for me. <laughs> boy, I'll tell you, that big fat boy, that's a big son of a gun compared to this thing. Yeah, and you even showed that Panhead's a small bike compared to that big fat boy. I have trouble handling big bikes like that. Boy, I'll tell you, it's it's different. 
people this, would say, oh, what the hell? This, this thing here, I can slam it all over the place. But unless you've been around one of these, this is just okay, a nice... See how that doesn't work very good like Nice, this? nimble little bike, yeah? See, I don't like that. So we're going to flip that thing over. See how it fits better now? I like that better. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. I like that much better. See, this one fits on there really yeah, good. Yeah, it does. But this one doesn't. So you want this one upside down too or leave it right side up? You know, I'm guessing probably better upside down, huh? Yeah. Like that. Looks better. You're unfamiliar with which way, huh? I guess I like it that way better. I haven't worked on one this last week. No, I know. <laughs> Since last week. We just kind of just go with what we got. What size nut is that? Three quarter. Three quarter. I gotta find a stubby three quarter now. Okay, time to go home. Time to go. Did you find that hose for your truck yet? Not yet. No, no, I don't have time. So, you have to that one down Maybe they uh, modified that. They canceled it. They canceled it? Yeah. So I'll, sh I'll show you how it's paper uh, um, um, uh, over there in the office. All right, I'll be in the office. I gotta go. I'm, I'm, I'm not feeling good. So what, do you got that flu coming, you think? Yep. Yeah, oh, brain. God, get out of here. Yeah. Are you trying to get me Please, sick? get out of here. I just got it. See you, my friend. See, I don't go out. That's why I don't get sick. But see, the customers bring it to me. Is that tight? Listen to it sing, I would say. When it quits moving, it's tight. Yeah, I would say. Wow. Hang on there, Skipper. Yeah, well, this, that was too much weight. Start to get wobbly. See, I put that those two extra pieces on the bike. Now yeah, and now it won't over. stay. Now it won't stay. You want me to hold it? You want a couple of tie wrap? Uh, you got a strap there. Yeah, your bike's falling apart. I'll come and hold it on the side. Okay, we're we're dialed in here. You can watch. Here, give me a block strap right there. <clears throat> Pretty bad. Oh shit! That's your whole on to it. Uh, well, one hand. I didn't realize it was that squirrely. Well, you look at the picture. Have you watched your videos yet? To see how bad they look. I have not. I have no access to a computer. That's why. Okay. See, so you're way too close, so it's blown up. It doesn't look right. You gonna hold on to it? Yeah, uh, yeah. I thought you gonna hold on to it. If you just push that one, you'll be fine. Uh, you stand on the strap. You probably got the thing blown up too, don't you? No, I don't. Right. That one doesn't know how to take videos worth of squat, so. Ugh. Here, see, so squeeze my gut past you. Ford diesel. I don't like Ford. I'm not big on Fords either. Okay, how's yeah. that? Oh, much better. Pull the other one down a little bit. That's good. Okay, there. See, it's not going to fall over now. Yeah. The whole rack's going to fall over, but not the front end. See that two extra studs? Look at the difference it made. Oh, of course. The whole black wants to fall over now. Now it will go down <clears> the road <throat> straight. Okay, now we're going to put some more of that expensive ass grease on here. <clears throat> Now, you know why you want to put expensive ass grease on these? Because we want it to live. Yeah, because these things eat themselves to pieces in no time. Because they're highly, highly loaded and the grease is very, very bad easily. So we're going to put the good stuff on here. Now the rusty part get up to the top. Uh, we won't be looking at it. Yeah, it's right on the top where you can see it. Let's put some grease over the top of it. And it'll hide it.
Boy, it looks good with that front end on there. No, I knew you were gonna like that. That's a nice size bike. Man. Yeah, we don't put this one on the left or the right. I think that's a right side. How about upside down like Nope. Oh no, that's a that's a right side. You want upside down? Nope. You want right side up? Yep. You gonna put the new Zerks in there at some point? Yep. Okay. So now that's a big twin front end, huh? Uh well this part is big twin. The top is forty five. Squishy, huh. squishy, see that? You know, I got to tell you, uh, uh, I like the big brake on the front of this WLC better than the, the, that, little, skimpy one? the little skimpy brake on the WLA. Now, don't put these on red because you'll never get them off. All right. Do we want them come Where's off? All my containers plugged up. Tatro, you're enjoying putting this together. Sure beats working on stupid fat boys. Well, you did a nice job on mine, and I appreciate it, too. That thing real came out Harleys. perfect. See, real Harleys have real parts on them. Oop. I broke that. <laughs> no, you didn't. I was pushed on the Zerk, and it fell off. It went over there someplace. It's right there. Right there. It's mixed in with a block where you can't see it. Okay, and what thread was that? Mm, not sure. Seven eighths. That one right there. It's on there. Okay, this is your fender space. You got a grease on this. Because this is the outside of the rocker that eats on it. Boom. I don't know why they give you a flat washer. I don't remember having a flat washer. You shouldn't have to have a flat washer because it's supposed to have this little lock tab on there. Mm -hmm. See, so it has the washer built mm -hmm. in. You put a flat washer, it defeats the purpose of it. <clears throat> Now these are going to come back off again, these old 916s ones. So I'm just going to put, to put the fender on, right? Yeah, I'm just going to give them a light torque like okay. that. See a little extra grease pooched out. Yeah, I like it. Just fine. Where's your new Zerks? Uh, where, well, I don't have, well, I don't I, I, I got them someplace. Let's go look in your box over there. You got the other side here. Yeah, I do have to look on the other side of the box now. How'd you know? I just surmised that. Oh, okay. Alan's smart. He's over there looking through his junk box. It's hardly a junk box. I hate to know what this thing costs in here. Yeah, look at all that junk in there. Where'd that chrome piece of crap Throw from? Throw that. Off? We got you a real one for that. Nope, that's a clutch cable for it. What do you do with your Zerkies? I think Alan lost his Zerks. He lied to me. He said he had Zerks already. I don't remember seeing him in here. Yeah, well, we're going to have to come up with some Zerks. We'll have to hunt down the set. I don't know why the scrub pad's over here. All right, now we're going to do the other side of the fork. Yeah, see, I found him this. Brand new clevis for the brake. Just did a stupid ass chrome when he had on the bike. Hard to believe he had a piece of chrome on the bike. Okay, need a grease. Need a stud assembly. That's the back one. So now we'll just, that's that fender space that goes on there like that. The rocker and push it right up against the inside of here. These are all heat treated parts. Mix them all up. I'm not sure how hard they are because I haven't checked them, but the Harley ones are all heat treated. Now, I never did understand the front one because they have a soft lock tab and there's no washer for side ploy. That never made sense to me. Well, that's how they do it. 45s actually had a heat treated washers on this thing, so. 
just have to go with whatever they got and hope it was the best. Now this is the nut that was so so. So once again we're gonna put red lock tight on the thread. Probably won't even use the locks. We'll let Alan decide if he wants to use them. Three hole in the back, so you're gonna tell me if that's correct. Yeah, even the seat was bent. Yeah, some fat butt sat on it. I think that Alan Jr. did that. Uh, well, I don't think it was so much in the military. Now how are we gonna tighten these nuts up? Just like he did before. I don't know if the zip gun will fit in there. Oh. You got the wobble head on there. Wobble head? Yep. Mr. Wobbly. Look at it, just made it. Boy, if we're gonna put something together, that's the way to do it. some of this good grease. Lube it up. We're going to have to get you a little mini grease gun to put this good grease in there. Yeah. Load you up. I bet you this stuff will probably stop 80% oh. of the wear. Oh, I'm sure of it. It's going to be nice and furry too, so it'll work mm. real good. And it'll work great too. Yeah. Let's see if I got that or not. Nope. Stick to my finger. All right. We'll get a rocker run off to you. Did you get to your chiropractor? We'll go to a chiropractor. A massage therapist? Yep. That's why I'm moving today a little bit. Oh, really? Well, that's what I was curious. I mean, you're complaining, but not as much as normal. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's it. I'm not working with I know. Anymore. Come on. That's well, it. you are in a little better mood. Come on. That's it. I'm Come not, on, Tatro. We're done working on this You part. are in a little better mood. We're really? Done. Did they work you over pretty good? I wore them out. Oh, okay. That's all right. Yep. Oh boy. See now I'm looking at this dumb oh, because I don't know. Look at this goes like this. What are you looking at now? Oh, you figured that out finally back well, there? I... <laughs> Here, hold on Alan. We didn't show what it's you did. Been... <laughs> Here, show how you had that, Alan. All right. All right. Well, this this appeared to you okay, know. So you think that one course it, to stick out the side? Well, I, I'm looking. I'm thinking. You know, okay, that goes in the hub, but nah, I don't think so. I think it's probably a little more like this. Maybe a little bit. Well, because I'm still thinking. You said we can put the wheels on without the brakes. We still have to figure out why this isn't fitting in here correctly. A little bit of draw filing. Yeah. Well, it's, you wouldn't think we'd have to do that, but. Bending this frame back and forth, it obviously crushed it down slightly. 
Well, something, yeah, because we did a... There, I'm a little happier with that. You, you like that better that yeah, way? Yeah, it seems to, oh. seems to be a little better, and then there's that nut. It might that fit better that way? Yeah, all right. Well, that's like I said. I'm, uh, I'm enjoying it as it goes along. It looks great. Okay, can I get back to work, sir? Yes, you can. Okay, I'm just making sure. So I'm interrupting my assembly process up here. It's just a flat rate job. I get paid by the job, not the hour. Okay. You get 50 cents an hour around here. You've never had an unsatisfied customer. Sure I have. Why? Where? Who? Well, you want a list? Nah, I'm not interested. They don't know what they're talking about. Now you don't care? First you want well, a list, now they you don't. Know? There's guy, they're knuckleheads. I've worked on those too. You could tell them I uh, said so. Except for your Zerks, your front end's on there. Very nice. Now, do you want to fool these lock tabs over or just let the Loctite do its job? Uh, I think, uh, you know what, that's a good question. What would you do? I think they're tight. Okay, then let's just leave them. But if you want to fold them over, they're on the bottom. So no, I like it like that. Next time you're doing a wheelie, get up in the air. Because like you said, they're not coming off of there. Because you didn't put no Zerks in this front end. It's all Zerkless. Put that handlebars on there see what they look like. Right now, we need to do something else about your bearings. Okay. God, I can't imagine. You got all the stuff to put all of your bikes together. You got to have all the chassis just sitting there. And then the motors, one after a time, and one after another, and just drop them in. You know what that would be, be like? Wouldn't that be great? Nope. Why not? Where would I put them? Move some of this other dead wood out, and you can have them lined up. And you know when Get you get these junk evils out of here and spoilers. When you when you when you walk into the customer reception area up front, they should be all lined up up there. I'll put all my trophies up and everything too. Uh, all my, you all you my certificates. You said it. I I didn't. Put all that crap. Up. You don't think people would go? Whoa! Look at this guy. All them stupid damn things. You know how many cases and things I got? Yeah. Well, leave them in a box. They'll end up at a yard sale somewhere. You ought to be enjoying them right now. Okay, where's the lid for this? Uh, uh, I think your bike's lined up like that with the wheels turned and the left would really be cool. What did you do with the bearings I had laying around here? Oh, they're right there. there. Where's the other bearings? That's all we saw. That's all that was laying over there. Yeah, that's and I'm looking for the top. Oh, here it is. You want me to clean the inside of this lip up? No, you're all right. Boy, that stuff's got a strange odor to it, doesn't it? I just don't like anything I use. No, I do. That's some, that's some nice stuff. There's some good Look at that stuff in there. That's some good stuff there. What do you got there? Oh, you chicken shit. You did find them. No. What's that? Oh, bearings. Boy, if I had a half dozen of these bikes, I'd have them lined right up. They'd be great. It wants me to go in that damn room. Huh? These aren't going to stay up in there unless I do something more important, like put grease in here. God, you could actually enjoy them. Look at them. Yes. I can't do this half ass. It ain't going to work. All right. Well, that's okay. I know you're waiting for those braces, and I appreciate it. We tried. It didn't work. All I did was get pukey grease up in here. That's all right. Pukey bearings. Where are those out of? Where's what? Headsets out of what? That headsets out of what? Sportster. Oh. When the bikes are stripped down. When did they get to? Did they have seal? Ooh. Didn't they have taper races after a while? Taper bearings? No, yeah. that's way late model. Oh, okay, we need to do something different here. Get that back down. 
on there for now. <clears throat> There's some room to work around here. Okay, grab this, grab the front of there. Boss. We don't have very many parts left. That's a beautiful lift. That's a machinist lift, isn't it? No, it's a bike lift. Actually, on this side. Well, I'm really surprised that paint is pretty well cured today. It's not fingerprintable at all, and boy, we had it on pretty thick. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it covers when I paint. Well, you were a lot right. Leaving it back there and let it cure, you know, that extra day just, um, in the cool made it look great. Well, it was baked on anyway. Yeah, but you're right. But you remember how it come out of there? It was still sticky. Yeah, it had to cool. So it works. Okay. Okay, pretty sweet. For yourself? Do we need this here? Did you get dirty, Alan? No, I did not. Look at Alan, he's wiping his hands over no, there. I just didn't want that all over the place. I don't know why you get the camera cut so low. I like it at high height. Stand back a little bit so you can see what's happening. Okay. That's why you got those $100,000 views on uh, YouTube. Hurt. You taking it off? I got it. I got it. I'll be okay. See if it works. Hello. Can you see it? Oh, wow. If you stand on it, put more pressure on it. See how freely that works? Oh, yeah. Perfect. That's going to pogo like crazy now. That's the better true. it works, the more the pogo. Where's that fancy ass grease that we just turned? Right there. Behind there, at the back. Yeah, it looks like this stuff. Look at you. You can watch what I'm doing. I'm watching. I'm enjoying it. They're not. Yeah, they are. Oh, you got it set correctly now? I think so. Okay. They don't need to be babysat. They I'm paying. Babysit? I get to watch. What? You're paying so you watch? Yeah, that's right. This I'm is getting great. paid for this job? This is great. Yes, sir. Oh, jeez. Cash? Whatever you say. I appreciate you taking the time to do it. I know you got a lot of customers, but uh, this is great stuff. I've been all my hold the ass in many years waiting to do this. Got go toward you, ready? Got it. Ah. Big squeeze. You get down and get personal with this stuff, Tatro. Okay. Where's those new balls? See, I had a bike, this bike before, but I didn't appreciate it. Why's my back hurt now? Where's your, uh, your camera over here? Where's the video paper? <clears throat> pocket knife's gone. Here. I got my pocket knife. I stole my pocket knife. My pocket knife, please. That's not mine. 
That mother's sharp. See how I got grease in here? So you have to watch what you're videotaping. Yeah. So I put a thin layer in there because this stuff's expensive. Okay, now these are genuine British balls. Ballparks. Ballparks, yep. How many in the top, how many in the bottom? It takes 32, as I recall, or 30. Let's see. It's 30 and 34, so it takes 30 and a 45 or a Sportster and 34 and a Big Twin. That's one pack. Hell, at twenty dollars a piece, that's expensive. So these are genuine, made in England. I see that. They're still stinking old. That's when England was still a world power. Not to insult the British, sorry. I didn't mean that. They're great folks. Sure you did. Ha. This is import stuff. If you didn't know, I'm trying to get all of our See, we're, using, we're using import parts. All of our vi all of our viewers from across the pond come visit. Yeah. I believe in using import parts wherever possible. Yeah, right. Now this grease doesn't take a ton of it to do the job. Normally I pack these things solid up here, but we just need to get a nice good layer across here right. that we need. You want a little bit on the outside edge because of, sometimes it rubs. Yeah. The dust shield. And just put a little small layer on there. Now we're not going to use these. We're going we're to come back and change these out, but for now, that one's in. Okay. Oh. Okay, now on the bottom. Do the same thing. Stack them in there. If you don't have enough grease, then these are going to fall out. Of course, when you're using tribodyne grease, nothing falls out. Uh, I don't know. First time I used it on this stuff, so I don't know what's going to happen. That one's going to be the experiment. It'd be great. It'd be perfect. Ooh, that's not good. Already failing called gravity. We didn't need that one anyway. Yeah, we did. Watch, we'll be one short. Well, if you used a little more grease... Cost money. <laughs> All right. Well, we can either chase them or use more grease. I don't know. Oh, is that how we got to do it? So Alan's going to be a big spender now? He wants more no, grease? No, I just, I just, I want it done right. You know that. He wants more grease. His balls are, his ballparks are falling out, so yeah. Alan wants to use more grease. Okay, I just don't, go? it's right there. It's right there on the floor. Is it got dirt on it now? Oh. oh no, re-sanitize it. Wait till I put that little Schwinn bicycle emblem on that front tube like they used to do in the 60s. Yeah. Remember that? No, I actually owned a Schwinn, so I didn't have to put it on You remember there. that. Those guys, chopper guys, all put that Schwinn bicycle head badge on there. Yeah, well. I used to like that as a kid. Great. I'm not doing it. Where do you want me to put Staff Sergeant Tatro on this thing? Yeah, he, he went you home. watch. He went home. I'm not going to put a star on there, but I'm putting a stencil on there. I wonder if you put your ballpark bearings up. You haven't told me how many per bag there is yet. Uh, I don't know. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. There's 12 to a bag. <laughs> we already put two bags worth in here. So that's 24. Looks like there's room for about six more up in there. Oops, I pulled out too many. See, I had three left over from the other guy. <clears throat> Am I doing this right? How many more? Can I get three more in there? I don't know, I'm holding my breath. 
What am I doing? I don't want them to fall out. Oh. So you want me to put some grease on them is what you're saying? Well, only if you want them to stay. Yeah, but they don't need as much grease to make them work. Well, I know, but like I said, when you put the, the fork up in there, we don't want them to drop out. Just wasting grease now. It's okay, Alan wants to waste money, so we're okay with that. Well, at $20 a dab, oh, that's U.S., even though they're British balls. Yeah. This is a train infringement for ballpark francs. When you got ballpark balls. Shit, we've used half a tub of that. I know, it's used a lot. Ooh. Didn't use enough though. Where'd that one come from? There's that damn gravity working again on us. I don't see where it came from. I think it came from over there someplace. There it is, right up in there. You didn't put enough up in there? Let me put a little more on that one. Gravity's fighting us. Where'd you race at? It's on the fork. You got a dingleberry hanging down there. You don't put any there. grease on that? It's coming back out anyway. I told you that. Did you already forget we're not going to keep those? You think those are permanently installed, but they're not. I'm thinking they are. I'm thinking you're going to pull a switcheroo on. I, I just learned something there. That's how you keep the bearings in. Tatro, you're something else. You figured out another trick. Yep. Maybe it just goes to my back. Okay? That's what the hot wrenches do. Yeah, look at my back feels like right now. God, they put enough thread up there, didn't they? Listen to it click. You're right, those races were shot. Tatro, you're something else, man. No clearance. Huh? No clearance, Clarence. They call that zero tolerance. They have that in school all the time. Yeah, that's right, but nobody listens. <laughs> Do they? Nope. <laughs> Shit, they don't care. Man, that's bitching. Who put the socks on top of the home cover I straightened? Uh, I don't Look know. at that. Perfect scourge across I didn't that. put that in there. You did. You probably threw it. I threw it at you. We ought to stack in here. Let's pull some more there. We need this. Okay. All right, there you go. You like that? Yes, I do. All right, I'm going to find me some Zerks, and we'll be back. Okay, good deal. Chapter 2. Wow, 